2010 rolled around. I'm a, you know, I'm an alcoholic. Uh, I'm a womanizer. I'm spiritually dead. I mean, I'm a dead man walking. I've got no fire. And uh, at the time, I was working for a, a tractor company. And uh, this young African American couple walks onto the lot. And uh, I'm smoking cigs, man. I'm doing, and I, I go inside uh, to check on a tractor for them. When I come back out, they say, they ask me, "Do you believe in God?" And I said, well, "Yeah, you know, like anybody would." Who said, they said, well, we just wanted to tell you that when you walked inside, God just told us that he was getting you ready for leadership. And I said, do what? And as that great light spilled over the horizon, it cut through that darkness and flooded our hearts with joy. Joy so unspeakable, so unimaginable that man beast and creation alike lifted their voice in song to the one who had returned with the light a baby in a manger the hope of the world now, four months later I, I run into a man uh, by the name of uh, Larry Fontenot uh, who I knew from, from years past uh, he invited me to a luncheon over at Bethany South and I run into a man there, I meet a man named Larry Stocksteel, uh, which is, who's the pastor of, of Bethany. A couple of weeks later, I, I give my life to God. I go up to the front, you know, and, and, and make a commitment. I wake up two weeks later. I mean, wake up, it's like, like a voice, it's like you and I sitting here talking. I wake up, I hear this voice, and the voice says, I want you to leave your job. I want you to give it up. I want you to follow me.
14 different states. It's an LSU show. Listeners in 14 states. I've got people that call me from different countries. I've, I've blown up. Uh, but everything that God said, everything he said, has come to pass. My life has been totally transformed.